Hello everyone, today I will be sharing with you all things about what is endometriosis and how it affects fertility. Endometriosis is a condition, a pathological condition in which the menstrual blood flows out of the fallopian tubes and then starts depositing in the ovary and within the pouch of Douglas. In this condition, typically a patient comes with complaints of very painful periods and that is what really triggers the obstetrician or the fertility physician to think about this condition being present. Of course, this condition is difficult to diagnose and one barely just relies on the symptoms given by the patient. Otherwise, the only sure test to really confirm presence of endometriosis is by undergoing a laparoscopy. This being an invasive procedure, often physicians avoid this if they can and will recommend you to undergo this procedure only if they find that there is a large endometrioma that is sitting in your ovaries. So what happens exactly? When one gets her periods, usually the flow of blood is going out. But in a few, what happens is that there is a backflow. And why this happens is still not sure or we still do not have any answers about. But in these patients, what happens is that the menstrual blood starts collecting in the ovaries and then collects and forms an endometrioma. It is only when a good chunk of this material gets deposited on the ovaries that one is able to pick this on the ultrasound. And it is at that time that your sonologist or the fertility physician may tell you that you have this condition. Again, what happens is because this endometrioma eats up most of your normal ovarian tissue, it is because of this that these patients often have difficulty in conceiving. So, when is it that your physician will really ask you to get operated? Current views amongst all of us is that when the endometrioma is small, just between one to around four centimeters, we avoid doing surgery, but only counsel the patient that yes, they should plan a pregnancy as soon as possible. Your physician in such a scenario may recommend that you undergo intrauterine insemination or at times even undergo an IVF cycle to cut short your trying period. What happens is and why they need to cut short this period is because the more the endometriosis increases, the less amount of ovarian tissue is available and what we find is the ovarian reserve decreases, your AMH or antibullerian hormone falls, drops down to a low level and that causes difficulty in conceiving. So, what we find is that fertility physicians usually prefer to do an ultrasound mostly during the first second day of your period to know your antral follicle count. Again, just to recap, it is the number of follicles that are seen on ultrasound during the resting phase and these are the ones that are then going to be available to the physician when he or she stimulates you. So, if your physician finds that your ovarian reserve is good and your serum AMH levels is at least above 2 nanograms per ml, he or she may recommend that you still have time and thus you may undergo intrauterine insemination cycles so that you conceive as soon as possible. On the other hand, if he or she finds that 
the number of antral follicles is low or your serum amh is less than 2 nanograms per ml in such a scenario he or she may recommend you to undergo an ivf cycle what happens is he or she is trying to get you pregnant as soon as possible so that at least for that time the duration that you are carrying the pregnancy you do not have any menstrual period and this endometriosis goes to rest it becomes a natural cure for endometriosis so friends yes you must understand that when he or she recommends this to listen to the advice we do get quite a few patients who may require surgeries maybe twice or thrice because every time that he or she gets operated in the next few months there is another large endometrioma sitting there sometimes when we find that the patient has already undergone two surgeries or three surgeries prior your physician may recommend you to undergo a donor egg ivf this could probably because he or she is finding that your egg quality is not so good and the resultant embryos are not of good quality to result in a pregnancy the number of such patients is however low but not uncommon and so my recommendation to all of you who are suffering from this condition is to seek help as soon as possible get yourselves evaluated get yourself worked up so that you know where exactly you stand and you can plan motherhood as soon as possible if however you are not ready for the same my recommendation to such patients will be to try and freeze the embryos one must also understand that it may not be that they are successful at the first attempt and patients of endometriosis often require two or three attempts till they are finally successful with a pregnancy your physician may plan the ivf cycle for you typically by suppressing your menses by giving you a gnrh depot injection and then the next month once you get your periods he or she will begin with the injections to stimulate you so that you form a good number of eggs the idea in patients with endometriosis is to try and get the best number of eggs that they can so that he or she does not require you to stimulate again having obtained the desired number of eggs most of us prefer to do an ICSI wherein each sperm is picked up and then it is pushed into the egg or injected into the cytoplasm of the egg to achieve fertilization this is because often patients with endometriosis have very hard zona or the outer covering of the egg as a result of which the sperm may not be able to penetrate the egg on its own and thus the your physician may recommend you to undergo an ICSI cycle also to know that the egg or the uh, the embryo that is formed is definitely of good quality your physician may prefer to grow the embryos right up to day 5 and having confirmed that this is the best blastocyst that he or she has obtained he would then transfer into your uterus also for patients who have undergone multiple attempts and have not been successful or for patients with very low amh or patients with large endometriomas not willing for surgery again a donor egg ivf or icsi may be planned so that they conceive as soon as possible thank you the topic of discussion next week will be polycystic ovaries and infertility